What's up guys, it's Coach Johnson. We're back, hopefully you've enjoyed the last few weeks. We've gone through the discus rotational shot. This week, we're gonna be dealing with the glide. So we're gonna give you a bunch of different tips, give you, show you some clips out of our training videos that are just diving in. You get a real sense of what we're doing and providing how we're communicating. Again, it's just pieces of it. If you'd like to see the real thing, click the link below, join. Everything's recorded up for you so you can catch up and we'd hope to see you on some live training. So check it out. You notice how it doesn't wind back, it pulls back. I'm on this because we're gonna bring it over. You're gonna see this, and then you're gonna be seeing me. I'm gonna be able to kind of reach over at this point, and then I'm gonna come through. What's up guys, it's Coach Johnson and we are diving into the glide. Now, one of the things we've done, we talked about in the intro and what we've talked about in the previous weeks leading up to this, if you haven't done the discus or the rotational shot, I'm gonna do my best to make it sound like you've never heard any of this information, but we've gone through our live training and we addressed our pillar drills, right? So we learned how the one, two, three, four sequence of setting up the chain reaction. Now you notice we talk about pre-blocks, we do pre-blocks in the rotational throws and we really focus on more of an up and over in the glide because it's we have to drive that hip all the way through and over. What we'll be doing is going through that. We're gonna start out just like we did with our discus and our rotational shot. We're gonna be focusing on the glide today. And again, the glide is gonna be that block. We have a higher angle of release. We're gonna be talking about how we open the block arm differently and how we pull down, how we wanna try to stay on that line and feel that extension so we're getting that nice high up delivery. So when we go to our kneeling throws, and again, I'm gonna get my trusty towel and I'm gonna set up and we're gonna set up and I'm gonna throw slightly this direction because of my camera. But what we wanna be paying attention to is we set alignment and then we scale and separate. So we create separation differently in the glide. A lot of times just kids keep their shoulders and hips together. But if you notice your elite throwers, they're all going to get the shoulder again back behind the hip. That's always the key to the throw. The throwing motions are hip ahead, create that big stretch strike. Now remember with this, with the glide, the elbow tends to be a little bit in a lower position, more under the chin. Rotational throwers are more up here. So when we scale, we set the alignment, we get that hand position nice and right. So again, remember we're holding it up on the knuckles so we get that, that thumb inside. And so as we bring it in and we get it under the chin, we're gonna be here, we scale and separate. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, right? So with a rotational throw, we're winding the left side with the shot we are actually kind of reaching out over but we're pulling this back you notice how it doesn't wind back it pulls back i'm on this because i'm going to have this opening action so with a kneeling throw again we can't really go back as far so we're feeling that motion again so you're going to notice how i'm up i'm gonna, we're going to call what we call our delivery t and then we're gonna pull down, so we're gonna be pulling more this way. That being said, we're focusing on up and overs. Now, up and overs for the glide, we wanna drive and we wanna drive up over the toe board. A lot of gliders have a hard time coming through in the reverse. So once they actually start to glide, they can't get that traditional glide finish. Now remember, this is another thing. We're not gonna be going through the reverse in this video, but when we talk about our stand throw, how it's different than the rotational shot. So the idea with the up and over is we're driving the hip in a linear line to the toe board, right? And so by teaching you the up and over, we're gonna be really conscious of kind of getting in that angle and kind of like a pre-block, we're gonna be setting already down and this is gonna be in the blocking position. But notice how I have a double bent leg. You understand, you gotta keep this bent so I'm here. So when I pull up here and I block, I'm gonna be able to push and climb up on top of that block leg and feel that motion of coming over. So I'm gonna set the chain reaction. We're gonna go set the alignment, okay? We're gonna scale and separate we're going to bring it over you're going to see this and then you're going to be seeing me boom and i'm kind of up and over this is going to be our final video for today in your throw session okay so here we go what we're going to do is again we're going to put our our clock on the 12 to 6 this way because i'm throwing in this direction so you're going to see me again set up the alignment i'm going to scale separate get it here 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be able to kind of reach over at this point, and then I'm gonna come through, boom, right? And you're gonna see me kind of work that way. What we're gonna be focusing on is as we come down, we're gonna be feeling this position, this kind of open. Now I'm gonna, boom, you're gonna see that kind of motion into the throw. What you're gonna find is it's gonna be uncomfortable. So what we're gonna start with is a non-reverse so that we feel this type of position. We're gonna feel this and we're gonna push here, right? And you're gonna see how that leg should wanna come through because you're driving the hip through. So if you feel a little bit of that, that's gonna be a good thing. That's the first stage towards your reverse. What's up guys, it's Coach Johnson. Hopefully you've been enjoying our glide training videos. So we are gonna post up a few more things, some new clips, some technique. Hopefully you enjoy it.